My name is Dave Bodine. Dr. David Bodine is an associate editor for Blood. My areas of expertise are in hematopoiesis, particularly erythropoiesis, which is the development of red cells. Uh, I also study stem cells, and I do some things in gene therapy, and I've been reviewing papers in all of those areas. The criteria that I look for in a paper more than anything else is novelty. I think the readers of Blood are very interested in finding out what's the newest things going on in any of the different areas of hematology, and so that's what I look for in the papers that get submitted. The series about genomics and hematology was something that I suggested when I came on as an associate editor, and I'm very enthusiastic about these things, and it's exactly what I want to see the journal doing, and I'm hopeful that the readers will get a lot out of the articles. We will be seeing more and more genomics papers in blood because that field of research is just exploding. And just like with every other area of research, hematologists are going to be right in the very front line of that, and they're going to go to the journal that they all read to publish those data. The way that genomics can be applied to erythropoiesis or hematopoiesis is that the genomic technologies allow us to look not only at the DNA sequence of the genome, but also the way that that sequence is organized in the nucleus. And so this gets into the area of how your DNA is packaged in chromatin and what parts of the chromatin are open and accessible to transcription factors and the production of RNA and which ones are closed. And that clearly changes as an undifferentiated stem cell begins to differentiate into, say, a red cell, but it could be any other kind of blood cell as well. I'm very pleased to be on the editorial board where I can review these genomics papers that come into blood along with my associate editor colleagues because I think being right at the forefront of that is the place to be. What I would like to see the Blood Journal doing in the future is to continue to capitalize on this explosion in uh, knowledge that we're getting from some of these sequencing projects. Uh, they have revolutionized the way we think about acute myeloid leukemia. Uh, they've revolutionized the way we think about some of the lymphoid leukemias, and I think that's only just going to continue. And I don't know what the next revolution will be, but I expect that hematology and blood will be riding that wave too. We focus on really identifying uh, things that are hot and coming up. And we will continue to do this because I think the collective wisdom of the group of editors is going to allow us to keep our fingers on the pulse of hematology research. <laughs>